as we sometimes do on this show, we need to talk about some things that are salient to your health. And women, did you know that you have a one in three chance of getting cancer? For men out there, it's a one in two chance for you. Those are scary odds, right? Now, of course, there are many different types of cancer out there, but there is hope. So we're going to kick off the Friday news feed today with some amazing stories about the dreaded C word. In fact, we're finding more and more cures. And first up on our list is the latest in leukemia treatments. Now, cancer researchers at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York have recently used an experimental treatment for patients who have a lethal form of leukemia. It's called acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Now, the treatment, what it does is it involves running a patient's blood through a machine, and it removes the immune system cells that are called T cells. And so what they have to do is they have to genetically alter these T cells. They inject them with a disabled virus. Now, what that virus does is it reprograms that cell, that T cell, to recognize and then go after cancer cells. They are targeted therapy, and this technology is amazing because it can attack bad cells without injuring your good cells. In traditional chemotherapy, it has... It basically will kill everything, good mm-hmm. and bad, and that's why people get so sick. You know, I'm thinking, too, that, you know, it's not just cancer. There's other disorders Absolutely. that involve the immune system, oh, autoimmune sure. processes, difficult inflammatory processes mm-hmm. that we really don't have great treatments for, amyloidosis, sarcoidosis, those kind of things. It may be in the future with the same technology. Right, because this and is still exciting. experimental. It's, it's, it, it's being used more and more. There's a lot to learn, but a lot of people say the cancer treatment is sometimes worse than the cancer itself. And joining us now is Dr. Michael Friedman, CEO and director of the Comprehensive Cancer Center for the City of Hope, which is a cancer research and care center. And so does this, as you look at cancer and you look at the way we've traditionally treated it, is this going to change the way we treat cancer going forward? These changes are really profound, and this is very exciting. As we know that each person's cancer is unique, to be able to tailor specific therapies for that patient, that holds great promise. It's never been such an exciting time. Now, it's still experimental, and so you still recommend chemotherapy right now, but could this become the new normal for cancer patients? Well, you're quite right. For many patients, standard treatments are very effective, and we're curing hundreds of thousands of patients with those treatments. But for patients with very severe diseases, difficult diseases, or patients who have failed traditional therapies, these experimental treatments offer two things. The the, the chance of real benefit for that patient, but also at the same time, knowledge that can help patients everywhere. Can we ever cure cancer? Because cancer, it is a multitude of diseases. There's no such thing as just Cancer, you have skin cancer, lung cancer. Can we cure cancer? The simple answer is we are already curing cancers now. Just like each person is different, each person's cancer is different. And for many of those patients, we're curing them now, but there's still some diseases that are so difficult and so refractory, lung cancer, pancreas cancer, brain cancer, and so forth. For those diseases, our treatments today, even the research doesn't give us what we need. And those are, those are the challenges for the future. But I believe that by working together, we can make so much more progress. Mm-hmm. Well, Dr. Friedman, thank you for all the effort. Yeah. Yeah.